John's gonna do his mountain skate. Not that he's ever done this before against me, right? But it's giving my hips CPR, he's using his elbow, he's knocking me over, he's got my foot, right? Now I'm in trouble. I can't wait for this to happen. Okay, I gotta get out first. So everybody come around the side. You can see our left, see my inside leg. Right? Back to mouth. So John is doing this exactly like he should. He's using his elbow, he's moving his hips out in order to hook my foot. Okay? There's two major ways to do a mount escape, or I should say to defend the mount escape as the guy on top. Right? I can be reactive or proactive. Does that make sense? I can react to what he's doing, or I can attack him in mount. Right? When I get to mount, not that I've ever gotten mount on John, but if I had and I got to mount, and I was here for three seconds, and I got my points, okay, as long as John protects his neck and keeps his elbows tight, there's not a lot I can do, right? If it's not an MMA situation where I can punch him in the face, once I get to mount and he's already lost his points, he's just gonna grab his collars, keep his elbows tight, and now I've gotta try to break something away in order to attack him. Does that make sense? So once you're mounted, Right? Remember, there's no stalling points in jiu-jitsu. So once you're mounted and they've got their points and nothing you did worked, relax, breathe, protect yourself, and you can go. So this is me proactively attacking mount. Right? The other option is when he does a mount escape, right? He gets his elbow down, his hands are on my hip. Now I've got to react to what he does. Does that make sense? If he goes elbow on my knee, as soon as he shrimps, my hands are gonna to go to the ground. So I feel his leg flatten, he starts to shrimp, my hands go to the ground, that back foot is gonna come up to his, his hip and my knee is gonna to go to the sky, here, okay? Now he can't hook my foot and pull it in between his legs, right? My back hand is gonna grab this tricep, push it in front of me, and I'm gonna replace with my chest to trap. And now my knee here guides his elbow in front of my chest so I can grab his hand. I've got control. Right? We call this a gift wrap, all right? Mouse trap, you'll hear a bunch of different names. The point is here, I'm wrapping his arm around his neck, extending my arm so that if he tries to turn back into me, yeah, he chokes himself. Cool? So I'm reacting to what he's doing by trying to escape mount, popping that foot up so he can't hook it, right? And then getting control of that top arm. One more time. Right, so as soon as his hands go to my hip, he's doing everything right, he's doing it like he should. Oh, if I leave that foot out there, he's gonna trap it. So I'm gonna lift my knee right into his hip, my back knee slides up, and I'm gonna pop his elbow in front of me. That other hand's right there. I gotta take that hand out of the way so he doesn't grab it. Reach around, and I'll use my knee to guide it to me. Oh, that makes sense. Okay? For those of you guys that have done this before, that back hand can come inside, grab my own wrist, and I tuck it nice and tight to me. All right, we call this triple mount. All right, triple mount, triple attack, you'll hear both. Questions? So person on bottom, do the escape. Person on top, slide that knee behind the head. Top foot, or front foot is gonna go up into the hip. Wrap that arm around the shoulder, boom. You can grab the wrist if you want. You can just posture up if you want. Depends how much. You want to annoy the other person. Remember, they're going to do it back to you, so don't be too mean. One, two, three.